So what's good, TMG fam? It's your boy Ellen. I'm back with another reaction. How y'all feel? Welcome back to the channel. Salute. So, oh, we back. We back. And this is scary footage that'll leave you unsettled. Shout outs to Slap Ham. I know it's been a minute, so before we get into it, please make sure your doors is locked. Windows is secure. Make sure the place is secure because you asked for it. So let's get spooky, baby. Here we go. Subscribe if you're new. So that's what we're doing. We start right back where we left off, huh? <laughs> scary dolls, scary looking room, probably some scary people. <sighs> How you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slapped Ham. Today we're looking at some mysterious videos that are leaving viewers baffled. So hit that subscribe button and get ready for more creepy content. Just like this. <laughs> Doll collectors Lee and Lindsay Steer were shocked one morning in March 2022 when they discovered one of their newest additions was in a different position. They checked their CCTV and were stunned at what they saw. Wait a minute. So you got a room that looks like this with all these weird, crazy looking possessed dolls. And you find it weird when something moves or is out of place? No, no, no. You should expect it. From position. They checked their CCTV and were stunned at what they saw. Take a look. See, I'd have been all right. I'd have been okay if it would just fell over. Then I would have th thought maybe it was on, leaning on something and just gradually fell over. But the fact it it leaned up and then dropped his head like that. Nah, I don't even. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like it. I don't like it. No, no, nah, man. We gotta shoot that thing. The doll just tilts forward seemingly for no reason at all. Lee and Lindsay run a haunted objects museum in Rotherham, South Yorkshire. This particular doll appeared one day on their doorstep with no note or any other information. It would appear it was donated by an anonymous benefactor. And they kept it? Y'all kept that? Y'all kept that? That? Nah, that don't look crazy or freaky or scary or spooky at all, do it? Of course, um, you know, yeah. For any other information, it would appear it was donated by an anonymous benefactor that perhaps no longer wanted the doll for what are now very obvious reasons. When the couple uploaded the footage to social media, they immediately received a strong response, with many of their followers claiming it looks like the doll's being hugged by some invisible force. They say that the way the doll slouches forward, it looks like a young child is clutching at it. Lee, who's been involved with paranormal research for over 20 years, claims he's never seen anything like this before. The couple open their Haunted Objects Museum to private viewings and paranormal investigators regularly. The store contains allegedly haunted and cursed items from all over the world. Listen fam, I don't care if you don't believe in paranormal activity or the unknown. I don't care if you don't. But if you roll up on a place like this, you gonna, a, a tiny percentage of you is going to be like, uh, I just don't feel right in here. Nah, I don't like it. The vibe is weird. This is weird. I don't know what's going on. It's something. It's it, you gonna fit. Look at this. Look at the look at the wall, bro. No, no, no. The haunted objects museum to private viewings and paranormal investigators regularly. The store contains allegedly haunted and cursed items from all over the world. So what do you make of this moving doll? Is it just gravity? Or is there a spiritual presence attached to the doll as suspected? Let me know your take on this in the comment section down below. 
dolls from all over the world, haunted dolls at that from all over the world. So you think every one of them is is fake? No, I don't think so neither. Sticking with eerie dolls, this next one is believed by many paranormal investigators to be one of the most haunted dolls in the world. The doll, known as Let Me Out, was discovered by antique collector Kerry Walton. Walton found the doll underneath a house in Wagga Wagga, a rural town in New South Wales, Australia. It's thought the doll is over 200 years old and once belonged to a fortune teller in Europe. Soon after bringing the doll into their home, the Waltons began to hear strange noises in the night and discovered scuff marks in their hallway as though something had been running around. The eerie nighttime activity became so frequent the family had the doll looked at by a local psychic. The medium said the doll once belonged to a child who had drowned. Allegedly, as the psychic made this claim, the clock on the wall fell to the ground and the doll shifted its position. Animals don't respond well to the antique figurine either. Dogs often bark ferociously as soon as they see or get near the doll. Interestingly, the Waltons don't believe the presence associated with Let Me Out is malevolent. In fact, quite the opposite. They believe that once the doll came into their lives, their fortunes changed for the better as their antiquing business took off. The doll's infamy has grown over the years and it now even has its very own Facebook page and Insta account. Let Me Out even does countrywide tours on occasion. So if you're lucky or unlucky enough, you may get a chance to see this eerie doll for yourself. I'll put a link to its socials in the description box down below. No, thank you. I don't care how much good is done. Just certain things you just, you could look at and just be like, nah, that vibe, that's that's a bad vibe. I don't even like, like I ain't, I ain't even feeling that vibe, no. It seems that more and more people around the world are spotting strange flying objects in the skies over Earth. This next clip uploaded by Imperadox on Instagram shows a UFO sighting in Peru. In April 2020, residents of Lima looked up into the sky to see a strange formation of lights hovering in the air. As you can see, a crowd gathers as more and more people spot the mysterious lights in the sky. The lights form a clear pattern and seem to blink or flicker. A lot of viewers said it was aliens visiting our planet. Some commenters speculated that the dots weren't individual objects at all, but rather points on a much larger craft. Something that we can't see. Now, we was looking at that video with the planes the other day, and they was talking about a lot of those planes that was in stealth mode, and you can't see it in the daylight, and at night you might as well forget it, but imagine... <sighs> See, see, y'all know me. I could go down. <laughs> I could go down a rabbit hole with what I think this could possibly be. <sighs> and then if they are studying us, look at us. All look at all the people who came out to view it. Just probably what they wanted. In recent years, the Pentagon in the U.S. has admitted there are flying objects in our atmosphere that have no known origin. This comes on the back of a spate of sightings captured by the US military. These sightings were captured on sophisticated military-grade equipment and show high-speed objects flying through the air that the US government can't quite explain. There's a whole fleet of them, look on the SA. My gosh. They're all going against the wind. The wind's 120 knots to the west. Oh, I think, dude. So what are we witnessing here? Are we getting closer to knowing that we really aren't alone in the universe? Or could we be seeing secretive military tech from another country? If these sightings keep increasing at the rate they are, it seems time will tell. TikTok user Throat Sing King regularly uploads clips of himself practicing the ancient art of throat singing. 
This unique style of singing originated in Mongolia, but it's practiced the world over, often in Buddhist chanting. E- Throat sinking regularly practices these skills isolated in nature while meditating or chanting. However, one encounter in the woods has left over a million TikTok viewers stunned and confused. Take a look at what happened. While singing, the op- Yo, that deer stopped and looked like, yo, what is, what is it? Is something wrong? Yo, these humans, it's crazy. Like, <laughs> he's like in awe. He notices a deer has approached in the background. However, it's not the deer that's left viewers so freaked out. Also in the background are two dark figures lurking among the trees. power of his throat singing he might not even know the power of that like he might be summoning the dead or you know what i mean shortly after the video went live hundreds of comments suggested that the chant had summoned some kind of forest spirit or cryptid throat sing king is dedicated to his art form and isn't known for pulling publicity stunts or pranks This is why this sighting has drawn so much attention. It appears to be genuine, and no one can quite explain the mysterious figures. So unless this happens again, this bizarre sighting will have to remain a complete mystery. This next photo was sent to us by one of our viewers, Ula Leilani Scanlon. A short while ago, one of Ula's friends was having their roof renovated. They took a series of snaps to document the work that was being done and didn't think too much of it. However, when they looked more carefully at one of the pics, they were shocked at what they saw. At first glance, everything does indeed look normal. However, in the front window, there appears to be a young boy standing there. The homeowner's son was home at the time. However, this isn't their child. Our viewers suggested two things. It's either an intruder or we're looking at a ghost. Either of these options aren't too appealing considering the homeowner's son was actually inside the building at the time. Our viewer Ula, who lives in St. Lawrence County, New York, near where this house is located, says the area is full of all kinds of strange happenings. Ghosts and UFO sightings. Oh, look at that again. 19... Could I, I thought it was a picture at first. Anybody else think that? With the way he's kind of hiding behind the curtain. I don't know. It's messing with me. I can't I, I, I can't really make heads or tails of this one. Things are said to be an almost common occurrence. So what do you make of the boy in the window? Is it a squatter, a ghost, or is there another way to explain the sighting? Drop your theories with the rest of the community in the comments section down below. I can definitely say the boy don't look like real. I I, I don't know. Before we take a look at a creepy lighthouse in upstate New York, remember to hit that subscribe button, then tickle that little bell icon there and turn on all channel notifications. That way you'll be in the loop every time we drop our scary and mysterious videos. Staying in New York State, our last entry comes from another one of our viewers, Angie May Ordway. Angie runs a paranormal investigation group called Paranormal Souls on YouTube. In this clip, the team are exploring the old lighthouse in Dunkirk, New York. As evening sets in, the team explores the old property. Okay. 
built in 1827, the light tower was first established on Point Gratiot and worked in tandem with a pierhead beacon to guide ships into Dunkirk Harbour on Lake Erie. Over the years, the property has become infamous for being haunted. The old lighthouse keeper's living quarters are said to be full of mysterious happenings. Employees and tourists alike have reported music playing, disembodied whispering and doors opening and closing, seemingly all on their own. In the late 1800s, the lighthouse keeper at the time and another worker tried to rescue two children who were drowning in Lake Erie. Sadly, the rescue attempt didn't go well. The worker and the two children died. Many locals believe that their spirits linger around the lighthouse even today. Mm. Back in the tower, Angie and the team begin to hear some strange noises. Later in the evening, one of the team members tries to communicate with any resident spirits. Tell us what you're saying, and we can have a conversation if you like. That's when one of the cameras captures something strange. Take a look. Tell us what you're saying, and we can have a conversation if you like. Slowing that down, a dark shadow walks by from right to left. You just kind of faintly see a little, like face or head in the in that in that picture on the wall. Y'all saw that? Now what's crazy is, when you first look at it coming through the picture, the person is shorter, but when it comes through the hallway behind that door opening, it's tall. Do, do, do y'all see that? Watch it again. All right, so we starting it back. If y'all can see it. Where's my mouth? Right, like right up in here, as it comes through here and goes through here, it looks like it gets tall. It's crazy. From right to left. The investigators didn't notice anything at the time, but there's clearly something going on in that room. This isn't the only time something- Or maybe it's like floating upward, you know what I mean? Thing strange has been caught on camera in the Dunkirk Lighthouse. Some years ago, during another paranormal investigation of the property, a mysterious orb of light was captured in a photo. If you zoom in, you can see what appears to be a face inside the orb. What makes this sighting particularly eerie is that the face bears a striking resemblance to Peter Dempsey, one of the original lighthouse keepers. Oh. Dempsey worked on the property from 1885 to 1902. He always sported a striking moustache, one that appears to be a close match to the face seen inside the orb. So is this old lighthouse really haunted? Given the reports from employees and locals alike, the mysterious orb of light, and now this shadowy figure, certainly does make you wonder whether something paranormal is going on in Dunkirk Harbour. Now, if you want to see some more mysterious videos, then check. I can't really tell if it looked like him or not. I can't, I can't really tell if it looked like him. I mean, if you go back and look at the head shape, you could, that's as far as probably you can go and say that actually looked like him. But what is it about lighthouses? Lighthouses like really, really 
come off as like creepy. I don't know. They've always had that kind of aura around them. It, to me, I mean, I mean, lighthouses is crazy though. But um, yeah, man, y'all get at me in the comment section, man. Y'all leave these little porcelain looking dolls alone, bro. I just, I don't think it's just no good comes from them, fam. I'm telling you, comes from experience. You don't do nothing but torment your children. So if you got por uh, a collection of porcelain dolls, it's one, one, if you got like three kids, one of them kids is scared to go in that room at night. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. They scared to go in that room. You're just tormenting your kids. That's all you're doing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but um, y'all get at me in the comment section, man. And let me know what you thought of the video, scary footage that you That'll leave you unsettled. All right? And y'all stick around and stay tuned, man. Till next one, I'm gone. Peace.